I'm joined here by Vadim. Would you say the changes in hip-hop music at the moment shows that it's a healthy scene? Um, I think so. I mean, things like, I mean, it's great that I'm on here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it's great that the clubs like Scratch and there's other clubs like The Hop and, you know, Glastonbury had a whole hip-hop day and various things happening up and down the country that things weren't happening four years ago. I think just the general publicity magazines are talking about it, radio DJs are playing it, things are things are improving, you know. Maybe in England the music was too house orientated. Yeah. And you know, I'm not taking away from house music or anything. You know, it's good, but I think there should always be a mixture of all kinds of styles. How did you get involved with the isolationists? <laughs> with the isolationists? Those buggers. <laughs> Basically it was through a friend. He knew one of the rappers called Priest and it was, I'd never met the guy, we just did it by FedExing tapes back, back and forwards. He was very difficult to get hold of and his email never answered and stuff, so I really literally spoke to him about five times, sent him FedExes and that we did a whole album like that. You got your own label Jazz Fudge, but what exactly is Jazz Fudge? Um, it's just a label that I started five years ago and I hope, I hope it's just a platform to bring forward artists and nurture them and hopefully they'll go to bigger and better things. You know, I'm not a big major with loads of money to promote something, but I can give someone a, you know, a start and then they could go somewhere else. You also record for Ninja Tunes. What are you doing for them at the moment? Well, at the moment, we're just doing this big tour, a big jazz fudge tour um, with Swallow members and stuff. And I'm kind of sub-promoting my next album for Ninja Tunes, which comes out September the 14th. There was a single that came out uh, about a month or two ago called Friction. There's a new one that comes out in about three weeks called It's Obvious um, and then the album comes out in September so I've recorded that while I've been touring and stuff and The Isolationist and I'm recording another album now at the same time as doing this tour and You're keeping yourself busy aren't you? Um, yeah and I keep planning these holidays I want to go on to <laughs> and I keep you know crossing the mountain never going on holiday and that's why I always get tired and fall asleep Actually, Vadim is the only DJ that I know that's fallen asleep while mixing a set. Tell us about that. That's quite a funny story. That was at a party in LA a couple of years ago. And I'd just flown in from London. I had to DJ that night. And this is the first time, actually, I've been to LA. And the club was packed. I don't know, it was about six, 700 people there. And I was on the, the DJ. It wasn't a booth. It was like a table with decks on. And uh, the people were kind of around me on three sides. So I was kind of raised. So it's, a little, it's not like in a, being in a booth or anything, so people are looking to you and they weren't very far away from me. And anyways, I was playing a tune and I got more tired, more tired, more tired. And I didn't realise that I fell asleep with my head resting on the mixer. And uh, Did they not notice? No, no, and this is what someone else told me. The crowd would just like, thought this was part of an act. They were like cheering and stuff. The record just finished, faded out. And like there's me just on the decks going, you know, like that. And a friend of mine came and prodded me. I was like, oh, what's happening? What's happening? And I had to like quickly get a record out and put it on. And like the crowd would just like, I don't know if they realised I was falling asleep or they thought it was part of an act just like, yeah. and I put on a tune and they just like went bonkers. But I, you know, I, I got away with it. You blagged your way through it. Yeah, I've been back to LA since, so uh, <laughs> I guess I'm okay there.